Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of old ages, etc., etc. This is uh, Mr. Doc 2013 here, wishing you a happy new year, and I am proud to bring you a brand new segment on Mr. Doc 2013. Now, basically, what I'm going to be doing, I think, probably every week, on a certain day of the week, I will bring you a new Doctor Who DVD review. And, in this case, we are going to start with, um, the Doctor Who series from Part 1 box set. I am also taking requests for new DVD re to review. Like, um, if you want to see a review of one that I own, then, um, feel free to request. Or, if you think I should pick up a new one, you could, uh, recommend one for me to pick up, and I will if I can. So, uh, yeah. By the way, I also have my, uh... If you want to see all the ones that I own, I have my Doctor Who collection up, video up. I am also going to be uploading a, Do a Doctor Who just DVD collection at some point. So, uh, yeah. So, this is the uh, limited edition variant of Doctor Who Series 7 Part 1 that I'm going to be reviewing today. So, to start out, we've got the front cover. It says uh, BBC up there. And the cool thing about this is that it's embossed. Uh, so there's a bit of embossing here, like you can see the uh, Weeping Angel is varnished and also the reflection gives it sort of a stone effect, which is very nice. You've got the BBC logo there and the Doctor Who there logo there in a, um, again, sort of stone effect. Two discs there, don't know why it doesn't say two discs set, don't know why they got rid of that, but I know it's got a ring around it. Series 7 Part 1, Episodes 1 to 5 and got a rating of 12. Because of uh, the Angels Take Manhattan, which I don't know why they rated that 12. And they rated the sound of the Daleks PG, I don't know. <laughs> but um, anyway, down the spine here, it's just all the same. You've got um, BBC DVD, you've got um, 3756, that's the number of the DVD. <laughs> um, series 7 Part 1, Doctor Who, BBC, DW, blah blah blah. 12 and BBC, all there. And then on the back, now this looks slightly different to the um, regular edition of Series 7 Part 1. Now, um, as you can see up here, you've got Sam Matt Smith, Karen Gillen and Arthur Darville. And you've got some information about Series 7 Part 1 there. Join the Doctor, the Ponds and numerous friends on their latest escape, escape through space and time. Where they puzzle over an unexpected invasion of Earth. See the spaceship full of dinosaurs. Don Stetson's in a wild, wild west adventure. And are even kidnapped by the Doctor's oldest fur. The explosive series concludes Amy and Rory's heartbreaking br farewell. A race against time through the streets of Manhattan. Will the Doctor really lose the ponds forever? There's only one way to find out. Fight! No, I don't really say that. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, as you can see here, we've got a limited edition number there. My limited edition number is 2901. If you have this uh, variant of this DVD, I'd be interested to see what your limited edition number is. But, um, yeah, so, um, I can see we've got the two DVD covers there. Uh, this, uh, series of part 1A, that has, um, this one has a cover of a town called Mercy, of course, and this two, The Angels Tame Manhattan. And usually in the um, normal edition of this um, box set, you have the um, episodes and features below the DVDs. But no, you've got them to the sides here. So, um, yeah. Anyway, in for disc one, we've got episode one, Asylum of the Daleks. Episode two, Dinosaurs on a Spaceship. And episode three, A Town Called Mercy. And we've also got um, episode four... The Power of Three, Episode 5, The Angels Take Manhattan, and special features on this too, which are Pond Life, A Sound of the Daleks prequel, The Making of the Gunslinger, and one special feature that you only get in the limited edition variant, The Science of Doctor Who. I have not watched that yet, but I think it's sort of like a documentary. Sort of like, you know, the best of blah 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 on the uh, Doctor the Widow and the Wardrobe DVD release. Anyway, we've also got here, um... Written by Stephen Moffat, Chris Chibnall and Toby Wittaus and directed by Nick Curran, Saul Metstein, I think that's how you pronounce his name, and Douglas McMahon. 
looking and <coughs> I don't know. And uh, produced by Mark Wilson and executive producers are Stephen Moffat and Caroline Skinner. We've also got um, information about an ultraviolet copy that you can get in uh, disc one, as you're going to see. But the redemption deadline is the 28th of October 2014. So you can only use this. This is only going to be valid up to that date. So, yeah. And, uh, so i um, got all the usual information here. Now that is good. That's like, you know, showing care to the environment. But anyway. So it works in pretty much the same way as Series 6 Parts 1 and 2 do. You've got, um, the top here, you open it up and you get your two DVDs inside and you oh, take them out like so and here they are uh, can't really stand them up <laughs> to be honest uh, there we are uh, stay standing up my god this is going to be a pain <laughs> my god this is embarrassing <laughs> Wow, fail! Sorry, I didn't mean to make the camera fall over there. Sorry, it just hit the floor. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, as you can see here, we've got um, the two DVDs. And, uh, we're gonna start out with um, the uh, features on disc one. So, here we have um, uh, what I like to call Series 7 Volume 1. Doctor Who, BBC, DW, blah 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 there. And we've got um, on this disc, Asylum of the Daleks, Dinosaurs on the Spaceship, and A Town Called Mercy. And of course, it's the uh, promotional image for A Town Called Mercy at the front there. And on the spine, we've got um, BBC DD 3756A. Got the uh, Doctor there with a the mark on his face from A Town Called Mercy. Doctor Who DW, Series 7 Part 1A BBC. And on the back we've got information about the episode starring Matt Smith, Karen Gillan and Arthur Darville. Asylum of the Daleks. Kidnapped by his oldest father, the Doctor is forced on an impossible mission. To play to a place even the Daleks are too terrified to enter. The Asylum. A planetary prison confining the most terrifying and insane of their kind. The Doctor and the Ponds must find an escape route, but with Amy and Rory's relationship in meltdown, an army of Daleks closing in, it is up to the Doctors to save their lives as well as the Pond's marriage. And that's the image there for Asylum of the Daleks. Dinosaurs in the spaceship here, we've got, um, that's the image by the way, <laughs> uh, an unknit. An unnamed spaceship hurtles towards certain destruction unless the Doctor can save it. And it's impossible cargo of dinosaurs. By his side, a rat gang, a rat ragtag, sorry, <laughs> of gang adventures. And sorry that the um, camera's shaking there, but um, can't really do much about it. <laughs> anyway. Right. Dinosaur. Adventurers, a big game hunter, an Egyptian queen, and a surprise member of the Pond family. But little does the Doctor know that there is someone else on board who will stop at nothing to keep hold of his precious prehistoric cargo. And here, I can just put this camera on the floor now. <laughs> Sorry about the shaking and vibrating there, but yeah. Anyway, that's the uh, image for a Town Called Mercy, and here we've got um, Town Called Mercy. The Doctor gets a Stetson and the gun, and finds himself in the... and finds himself the reluctant sheriff of a western town under siege by a relentless cyborg who goes by the name of the Gunslinger. But who... but who is he, and what does he want? The answer seems to lie with a mysterious Kalajex, an alien doctor, yes, another one, whose initial appearance is hiding a dark secret. And then we've got BBC here, blah blah blah, this is again, not to be sold separately, so you can't sell these two DVDs separately. <laughs> so, yeah, and the uh, running time here is 137 minutes, approximately, so it's approximately 2 hours and 17 minutes to watch all of these at once. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, inside here, we've got um, a little leaflet thingy about uh, the ultraviolet copy. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> uh, 
and got the uh, disc here, that's Doctor Who Series 7 Part 1A. And the background, we've got the um, Parliament of the Daleks from, of course, Asylum of the Daleks. So, I'm going to put all this back now. And that's uh, Series 1 Part 1A. Now, um, first, before we go on to the next DVD, I would just like to uh, give my thoughts on the episodes contained in this disc. So, um, Episode 1, Asylum of the Daleks. To be honest, I actually really did not like this episode. When I first watched it, I thought it was okay. Then I rewatched it on Christmas Day and I thought, wow, this is terrible. Now, the main reason I don't like Asylum of the Daleks is because it has so many continuity errors. The Pond's divorce is just a load of bullshit. It's part of my language. <laughs> and also, um... I mean, Amy having a bait, not being able to have kids? Well, do you remember A Good Man Goes to War? She had a kid in that one, so I don't know what... I don't know what's going on. It's clear Stephen Moffat only had that to have a bit of drama. And also, the Daleks' plan was just so, so stupid. I mean... Oh, my... Just... I don't know. So many continuity errors as well, like... The... I think... Now, apparently... Scaro is still alive. How can it be? I mean... In Remembrance of the Daleks... The Doctor... Turned Scaro from Supernova, which destroyed it. And also... In Daleks in Manhattan and the Evolution of the Daleks... I think it, I believe it was Dalek Thay who said that the, the that Scarrow was destroying the Time War, so I don't know what's up with that. That's what main reason I don't like Asylum of the Daleks. It's not boring, but it's just so stupid, and I I I, I just really don't like this. It's Stephen Moffat at his worst. Anyway, our next story: Dinosaurs in the Spaceship. This is probably one of the stronger ones out of the. Uh, out of Series 7 Part 1. If it wasn't for the Angels Take Manhattan, this would be my favourite out of the uh, entire box set. Dinosaurs in the Spaceship is fun, it's funny. It's just a load of fun to watch in general. That, that's a, well, that really just sums up this episode fun. It's really, really nice to watch. It's just a... And also, it's, it's just a joy to watch. And also, Mark Williams as Rory's dad. That is just Brian Williams. That is just brilliant. I I love when Mark Williams is awesome, and just 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 about everything about dinosaurs and spaceship is great. I love it. A town called Mercy. When I first watched this, I was actually slightly disappointed because I was expecting you know more action like there was in the Gunfighters, which is the which I believe is the only doc, other Doc Two story to date. To take place in the uh, Wild West. So, um, yeah, I was really expecting more from this, but then I re watched it and I was able to, you know, take it for what it is. And I actually liked it more. So, uh, yeah. About ratings Asylum of the Daleks, I'll probably give like a 2 or a 3 out of 10. Dinosaurs on a Spaceship, I give um, 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10. A Town Called Mercy, I'd probably give a, a 6 or 7. 6 or 7 out of 10, I don't know. <laughs> then we've got disc number 2. Doctor Who, disc 2, series 7, part 1B. Of course, got the usual thing there, the promotional images for the uh, Angels Take Manhattan, BBC up there, Doctor Who, BBC, DW, blah, blah, blah. And the episodes in this are The Power of Three and The Angels Take Manhattan. And uh, down the spine, sorry, we've got, um, we've got uh, BBC DVD number 3756B, not to them, The Power of Three. Um, yeah, it is from The Power of Three. Doctor Who DW, Series 7 Part 1B, BBC, blah blah blah. On the back, we've got a uh, similar thing to uh, this one. We've got Matt Stein, Matt Smith, Karen Gillen, Arthur Darville. Um, 
this is the uh, image for the Power 3, and we've got information on the episodes again. The Power 3, we've got um, the Doctor and the Ponds puzzle over an unlikely invasion of Earth as millions of sinister black cubes arrive overnight, almost like presents falling from the sky. But what are they? What's inside them, and most importantly, who sent them? With the international community at a loss, it's left to the Doctor to unearth who is behind the mystery. Then we've got the Angels Take Manhattan, that's the uh, image we got there. We've also got another image there, that's just for like, the special features here. <laughs> the Doctor's heartbreaking farewell to Amy and Rory, a race against time through the streets of Manhattan as New York statues come to life around them. With Rory's life in danger, the Doctor and Amy must locate them before it's too late. Luckily, an old friend helps them gu and guides the way. Now we've got bonus features here. Now that image, again, is from the Angels Take Manhattan, but I think it's used for the bonus features. So for the bonus features here, we've got a uh, Pond Life en route to see the ponds, it, the TARDIS, Helmic regulator malfunctions, leaving the Doctor popping up everywhere in time and space. Will he ever make it back to them? Asylum of the Daleks prequel, the Doctor receives a message from... Um, a mysterious, sorry, the Doctor sees a message from a mysterious hooded stranger, a woman called Darla Von Carlson wants to meet him. The making of the gunslinger, civil war has ravaged on the Carla race, but a team of scientists has found an advantage. The gunslinger is born. The science of Doctor Who putting the ingredients, sorry, sorry, Put in the ingenious science concept, scientific concepts of Doctor Who test. Can science fiction ever be science fact? And we got uh, here um, the uh, running time, the running time here for these two episodes for the Power of the New State Manhattan is 85 minutes. So that's one hour and 25 minutes to watch both of those at once. <laughs> So, uh, anyway, my review on the episodes. The uh, Power of Three. Now, this one was okay. I actually, when I first watched it, I I thought it was okay, you know. it's, it's I thought it was better than Atal Commerce and Asylum of the Daleks. But now, I just think it's better than Asylum of the Daleks, but not as good as Atal Commerce. So, uh, my top five episodes for this series we'll get to whenever we get to the Angels Take Manhattan. So, yeah, the Power of Three is okay. It could have been better, but, um... It was better than I expected it to be. Now, The Angels Take Manhattan. This was actually pretty good. Stephen Moffat started to redeem himself with this one, I think. Amy and Roy's departure, really sad. The only thing, though, is uh, the Weeping Angels could have been scarier in this one. Like, they, they were terrifying and blinking. They had the moments in Time of Angels and Flesh and Stone, but they weren't that scary, to be honest, in this one. They just... Pulled a few scary faces, that's about it. And now for my reviews on the bonus. Well, first, um, my top five episodes out of this series would be... Um, sorry. Number five, obviously, Asylum of the Daleks. Number four, The Power of Three. Number three, A Town Called Mercy. Number two, Dinosaurs on a Spaceship. And number one, The Angels Take Manhattan. So, uh, yeah. Now, for bonus feature, we've got Pond Life, which is basically just a prequel to Asylum of the Daleks, as I like to call it, or prequel to Series 7, Part 1. Basically, um, the Doctor, it, basically, it's just, you know, showing how the ponds, how Amy and Rory split up, and how that, like, sort of led into Asylum of the Daleks. So, uh, yeah. We've also got the uh, Asylum of the Daleks prequel here. Which is basically just showing how Do the Doctor's got the message. It doesn't, fi it doesn't fix any of the continuity errors, anything. It doesn't save Asylum of the Daleks at all. It's a nice little, um, you know, extra showing how the Doctor got the uh, message. But, hmm, I don't know. It was, a, I think it was a headless monk. Well, that's what I assumed before, who getting the message. I could be wrong. Uh, the making of the gunslinger. I watched this. Again, this is a nice little um, extra. Basically, it's just... Um, Showing how the gunslinger was created in the um, actual episode of the Town Call. I like to call it a prequel to a Town Call Mercy, so um, 
Yeah, and the Science of Doctor Who, I'm assuming, is a documentary. I haven't watched it yet. Again, I haven't had a chance. And, um, but yeah, I have given all these episodes a rewatch. Inside here, now usually you get a poster here for Asylum of the Daleks, but I already hang it up on my, hung it up on my wall. I'll show you it in a bit. And, uh, we've also got, um, Doctor Who DVD, uh, the disc, the seven part 1B. And also, uh, for here we've got the TARDIS from the Angels Tape Manhattan, like, t trying to materialise. So, yeah. And this is the, uh, this that's rated 12, by the way. One thing I found weird, though, is that they actually don't have the rating on the cover, by the way. Um, disc 1, in case you didn't know, is rated PG, so... Yeah, just thought I'd add that in there. Hang on a minute. So... I'll be uh, right back. I'm just gonna show you the um, Asylum of the Daleks poster on my wall. Come back to those DVDs in a little bit. And here it is. This is the poster you get with um, the limited edition of Series Seven Part One. Now this is just basically. Now this w would be the cover to the normal edition of Series Seven Part One, but I have it as a poster, of course, and I've got the limited edition. Despite the fact that Asylum of the Daleks sucked, and I mean sucked. Um, this poster looks really nice, it's, you know, got the death ray effects, it's got some classic Daleks here as well, that's pretty cool if I say so myself, it's really, really good, I really like this poster. But uh, anyway, now it's time to sum up this box set as a whole. So, um, overall, Doctor Who, Series 7 Part 1... To me, it was okay. I am um, Doctor Who Series Seven Part One. I think it was okay. It, it was all right. Well, um, the episodes in general, I just I mean, it this this was a disappointing start to Series Seven. I think. I mean, Asylum of the Daleks was pretty disappointing. The Angel Tip Manhattan could have been better, and so could the and. I I think the probably one of the more disappointing ones to me was a town called Mercy. So yeah. So uh, yeah. anyway, if you're a big Doctor Who fan and you love collecting Doctor Who, even if you didn't like Series Seven Part One, I'd still recommend this because of the uh, nice little special features it has to offer. But um, if you're not that bothered, if if, if you just want to wait for the complete seven series, I'll just wait for the inevitable series seven box set. I only got this, I only got this because of the you know limited edition. But um, still, if you want the limited edition and you want the poster and the extra special feature you get in here, go for it. But if you like series seven part one, but you're not bothered about the special features, I'd just say go for the normal edition. But yeah. So, uh, let's see, so this is a really nice box set overall, I like that they added in, you know, extra special, an extra special feature with the limited edition, and uh, having special features on the second disc really makes up for only having two episodes on the second disc, I mean, with the exception of the complete fifth series, since when was there only two episodes on one disc? Like, with the exception of Christmas specials, having one or two episodes on one disc, that, that is just stupid, really, I think. But, yeah, it's understandable, kind of. I, I don't know. I mean, Series 7 Part 1 went by really quick. The only month it actually aired in was September. Every Saturday of September. Uh, an episode there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, that's my review of Doctor Who, uh, limited edition. Wait, hang on, sorry, my rating for this box set. Um, I'd probably give this box set something like an 8 out of 10 or a 9 out of 10. Because, well, the only thing keeping it, holding it back is the episodes in general. Like, Asylum of the Daleks in particular. Is the episode that's that's just keeping this box set from being a ten or a nine? So yeah, I probably give this box set an eight out of ten. It's a really really nice addition to Doctor Who. 
If you are, again, if you're a big Doctor Who collector, get this by all means, but anyway, that's going to be that for now. This is Mr. Doctor Who Fan 13 saying word out. My next Doctor Who DVD review, I'm not sure, it'll probably be, I think I'll probably do a classic series with box set review next, I'll probably do Beneath the Surface next, yup, Beneath the Surface, I'll uh, see you next time guys, this is Mr. Doctor Who Fan 13 saying word out.